नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल ओके आई गॉट टू टॉपिक्स फॉर यू टूडे माई फर्स्ट टॉपिक डील्स विथ द पार्लियामेंट ना राहुल गांधी आस्ट सर्टन क्वेश्चन टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया रिगार्डिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया रिलेशनशिप विथ अडानी द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया रिफ्यूज टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो सम ऑफ दोज क्वेश्चन वेर एक्सपंज फ्रॉम द पार्लियामेंट In the meantime, Prime Minister of India talked about Nehru and why Rahul Gandhi is not being called Rahul Nehru, and that question remained. Now, the question is not that I am not going to talk much about that. My question today is: What exactly is the Parliament, and what are we using it for? That's my question tonight. That's question number one, and that's topic number one. And my second topic is about uh, Andhra Pradesh Governor Mr. Abdul Nasir. now uh, abdur nasir till last month 40 days back was the supreme court judge he has been made the governor let's talk about that let's get right to the show now uh, this entire debate started with uh, rahul gandhi asking certain questions to the prime minister uh, regarding his relationship with गौतम अडानी नो दो क्वेश्चन वर एक्सपंज सेंग दैट लिज इन यू नो वॉट प्रूफ है क्या डू यू हैव एनी प्रूफ यू आर आस्किंग दीज क्वेश्चन दो क्वेश्चन वर एक्सपंज कांग्रेस ऑफकोर्स गोज आउट टू से दैट वी आर बी वी आर नाउ प्रोवाइडिंग प्रूफ टू वॉट एवर क्वेश्चन दैट वर आस्ट ओके इन द मेन टाइम प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्पोक अबाउट यू नो दैट ही वेल ओन कैन टेक ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एंड ही कास्ट एज टू वाई राहुल गांधी इज नॉट यूजिंग नेहरू सर नेम एंड वाई इज ही यूजिंग गांधी सर नेम एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज इज पार्लियामेंट सम काइंड ऑफ अ थिएटर दैट यू आर परफॉर्मिंग दैट यू आर एक्टिंग और इज इट सम काइंड ऑफ अ पोलिटिकल रैली a political stage where you can talk about how brave you are and you can talk about how creative you are and so on and so forth is that what parliament is is that how parliament should be used we are spending huge amount of money now creating one more big parliament great parliament we are we are spending so much money on the parliament and what is that parliament finally going to be used as an entertainment device that you sit and you know talk about yourself now let us uh, let us go to some basic details let me first take you through the definition of what a parliament is you decide you decide whether is our parliament being used the way it should be used it should be used in a democracy you decide that now the definition of a parliament in modern politics and history a parliament is a legislative body of government generally a modern parliament has three functions representing the electorate making laws and overseeing the government via hearings and inquiries the term is similar to the idea of a senate or a synod or congress in different countries we are talking about us you are talking about uk it is it is that the idea basically is to ensure that you discuss governance you hear people's question you answer people's question the government answers people's question the ideal form of parliament is when you also take suggestions from the opposition parties possibly use it if it is necessary and if it the government deems fit that is how a parliament functions the concept of a statesman is when you appreciate a good suggestion coming from an opposition that's exactly how a parliament has to function if the parliament doesn't function no so then you cease to be a democracy you cease to be a democracy and that's the point i am trying to make by the looks of it if this is how the parliament is going to behave unruly throwing things at people shouting howling not allowing the others to talk making jokes of each other trying to you know self profess uh, self absorbed uh, you know uh, speeches talking about how big you are and how great you are and all that if that is what you are going to use the parliament then it is sad not only for the democracy it is sad for the taxpayer who is paying for all that what has to be discussed gets passed in 2 minutes and 3 minutes which is supposed to be discussed for days and what needs to be discussed 
the discussion happens on on how great you are and how good you are and and how bad the other person is and you know what is uh, your surname and what is his surname and why name and uh, all of that you see it is not a question that you need just need to brush it under the carpet this is a question that one needs to ruminate because end of the day it is going to be your life and mine it is going to be your future and mine it is going to be the future of your next generation and mine that is what it is and that is why this topic is important and somewhere down the line if you and i don't talk about it you and i don't raise your voice about it you and I, you and i don't start discussing about this to, and ensuring that your public representative is aware that you know what they are talking in the parliament and if they are not talking asking them to hey bet ticket wicket deke vote vote deke tumne kiya kya asking them is going to be prudent 2024 is in the annual please remember this please remember this because if your representative doesn't talk in the parliament that means your representative is wasting your vote no matter which party he or she comes from party is irrelevant please ensure to ask your representative as to what they are speaking and and secondly most importantly if this is what's going to continue in our parliament then our parliament will have will lose the the reason why it is it will lose the reason why it is there that's the topic number 1 let's get quickly into topic number 2 Uh, Andhra Pradesh has a new governor. This governor's name is Mr. S. Abdul Nasir. Mr. S. Abdul Nasir was uh, the Supreme Court judge till recently. He retired 40 days back. Within 40 days, he was made the governor of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Now the fact is, uh, Mr. Abdul Nasir was also uh, part of the five-member bench. that uh, heard ayodhya case he was also part of the bench that heard demonetization he was also part of the bench that heard the triple tala case now mind you in triple tala case he along with chief justice j s khar descended uh, to uphold the constitution of triple tala so he said you know we it is not the judge it is not a court that should uphold or or, or scrap triple tala so he had descended in in uh, in the case of triple tala but he had he was the judge that heard it he was the judge that told that you know uh, uh, demonetization was done as per rules and as per protocols and all the all the rules were followed he was the judge who ruled on it he was one of the five judges who ruled on it in fact uh, the second judge justice ashok bhushan was appointed as the chairperson of national company law appellate tribunal in 2021 so he got as chairperson of ncalt in 2021 and uh, of course uh, nasir justice nasir now got uh, andhra pradesh governorship so theek hai see justice ashok bhushan getting ncalt is okay because ncalt normally appoints a judge appoints a retired judge so yeah to that extent you cannot be a chairman of ncalt if you are not a judge so you have to appoint some judge or another so he was uh, appointed so theek hai but uh, governor doesn't need to be judge mps doesn't need to be judge so that's the point theek hai let us be very let us not go all over the place are we saying that appointing nasir was illegal no nothing illegal about it it is very correct you it's quite within the uh, within the powers of the government to appoint whoever they want are we therefore saying that you know because uh, nasir uh, justice nasir ruled in favor of demonetization and ruled in favor of ayodhya it is he is being rewarded are we saying that we have no proof we have no proof whatsoever to say that so we are not saying that what we are saying what we are talking is about tradition you see if a judge is given a post retirement position especially within 40 days of he retire retiring and that to a post retirement position like that of a governor who literally is like a king of a state he lives in a raj bhavan for crying out loud if you are giving that kind of position to a retired judge then are you favoring that judge are you favoring that judge the question is that can't you do it because he can't you go to a judge and say you you know you do this for me and i will give you a position can't that happen of course it can happen i am while i am not saying that it has happened i am saying it can happen and the tradition is to ensure that we don't do anything we don't do anything that brings about a feeling that you know this is a quid pro quo 
They, that's this, this to him and therefore the government is doing this back to the judge. This is a return gift to the judge. This can be avoided and that's precisely why tradition demands that you don't give judge, a, a, a retired judge, next day morning becomes a governor. It doesn't. You shouldn't. It is, it, is, it is harming the democracy. It is harming the democratic process. While it is not illegal, it is harming the democratic process. Ranjan Gogoi, the whole world is still talking about it. He is still talking about it. A, a judge who made into Rajya Sabha MP, who attended Rajya Sabha for some two or three days. So one still talks about it and you are doing this again, which technically means that there is little reverence for protocol. There is little reverence for traditional. There is little reverence even to go that extra mile to ensure that your constitution and your constitution laws and more made more powerful and made more robust. That is gone. And that's why the question here. That's why we are questioning it. So this is not the first time it is happening. It has happened in 1997 and 2000 to 2001, wherein, wherein uh, Fatima Bibi was the Supreme Court judge, was appointed as the governor to Tamil Nadu. But she was appointed post five years of her retirement. She was not appointed the next day. But on the other hand, Chief Justice P. Sadashivam was appointed as Kerala governor after his retirement. So that happened in 2014. So there are precedents. It is not that there are not. Like I said, like I said, traditions, norms, logic says that ideally one should be avoiding such appointments because this sends wrong signals amongst the bureaucrats, the judiciary, the legislature and everybody. And it also sends the wrong message amongst people saying that, listen, you know what? The government can do it. You can do it both ways. Is that fair? That's the question I asked tonight. Um, till I see you next time. Sorry, before I end my editorial, I'm going to interview Siddhi Kappan tomorrow. Tomorrow's editorial is my interview with Siddhi Kappan. We are having a candid chat with him. We'll talk to him about a lot of uh, uh, topics, why he was arrested, how exactly was he treated, how was his uh, stay in the uh, 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 jail, what all he had to go through. We'll talk about him. It's a candid interview, very interesting interview. I'll see you tomorrow at 10 p.m. Till then, Namaskar.